We didn't make the one way of salvation in the one church of the Bible exclusive. Jesus having all authority did. I will build my church. Does that sound like church of your choice or a bunch of denominations? I will build my church, singular, possessive, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Permanent. The one church is still here. Yeah, we didn't make that one way of salvation narrow, did we? Mm -mm. We didn't say he that believes and is baptized will be saved. Jesus said that in Mark 16, 16. We didn't say there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. Read it. One. One hope of your calling. One. One faith. One. Did we make that way exclusive? No. Did we say the, the way to heaven is narrow and few there be that find it? Or did Jesus say that? Matthew 7, 4, 13 and 14. Yeah, the way to hell's broad, the way to heaven's narrow. We didn't make the one way of salvation in the one bride of Christ. He's not a polygamist. He's not an adulterer. We didn't make that one way exclusive. One is a repeating theme throughout scriptures, and you already believe in most of it. Is there one God? Oh, you just believe in a cult. You believe there's one God. You should. That doesn't make you part of a cult because you believe in one God. Is there one Jesus? One Jesus? One? Yeah. Are you in a cult because you believe there's just one son of God and he's the one mediator? Are you part of a cult because of that? Okay, no. Okay. One God, one Jesus, one Holy Spirit, one Bible, one faith, one church. All of a sudden we're a part of a cult because we, we stayed on the one train and you got off? Not difficult. If there's one God and there's one Jesus and there's one Holy Spirit and there's one Bible and there's one faith, there's one church. That follows and you know it does. Denominations aren't it. They've all got their own man-made creed books and they follow men. They say, and they even say they're hyphenated Christians. I made this meme for this lady one time. I made this meme one time and I, and I delivered a sermon and I put it on the screen and, and it, it said, um, Christians, you know, the disciples, the, it's Acts 11, 26. The disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So the word Christian is huge right in the middle of it. And it's got a big old green check beside it. And then there's a bunch of man-made words all over it, all over it. And one of them convicted her. Yeah, one of them. It's like Protestant and Calvinist and Baptist and Wesley. Oh, that's the one that she got triggered by. And it gave her a negative feeling. You know what she didn't do? She didn't get accusatory and say, oh, you're just part of a cult. She saw that nobody should be called a Wesleyan because Wesley didn't die for you. 1 Corinthians 1, 10 through 13. Now I beseech you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you, but that you all be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. That's 1 Corinthians 1, 10. It goes on there in that passage, those four verses, and it says, some of you folks are being called Paul kind of Christians. I'm, I'm rephrase, rephrasing there, paraphrasing there. Um, some of you are saying, I'm of Paul. I am of Cephas. I'm of another one. I'm of Christ. Is Christ divided? So that's a rhetorical question there. So a modern rephrasing of that would be, some of y'all are kind of trying to say you're Protestants or Catholics or Baptists or Wesleyans. She saw that. Yeah, she, she didn't like the feeling it gave her. Oh, yeah, she didn't like it, and she asked me. I sat down with her, and I taught her. Yeah, and you know what clicked with her? I had given her a negative feeling because I had declared the gospel of Christ, and I said to her, well, do you want to be a Paul Mays kind of Christian? Because I don't want you to be a Paul Mays kind of Christian. There's no such thing. And she was like, ugh. She had a negative feeling towards me because, well, she doesn't want to be a, I'm just this guy standing here that gave her a negative feeling. So it clicked with her. I said, apply that to Wesley. He was just a man too. He wasn't inspired. He was a fallible man. You can't be a Wesleyan Christian. It's not possible. It strips the glory from Jesus Christ. Apply that to every denomination. Then go back to the Lord. Go back to the one church that he promised to build. Obey his one gospel and be added to it. The Lord's church is no denomination. She's no cult. She is his one holy bride. Ephesians 5.25, Revelation 21.2, set apart. Yes, we're peculiar. Yes, we're weird. Yes, it's weird when you look at the world saying, oh, church of your choice, and you'll have to agree to disagree and follow your heart. All this horrible, horrible, Jesus-denying advice that you get from the world. Yes, we look weird compared to that. Yeah.
Because there's one God, there's one Jesus, there's one Holy Spirit, there's one faith, Ephesians 4, 4 through 6, of course there's one church. I know that makes sense to you. I know it does. Plain as simple, plain as that big nose on my face. Yeah. Obey the gospel of Jesus Christ and he will add you to his one church. This is what that looks like. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, Acts 2.21. This is the first gospel sermon. You people killed Jesus, Acts 2.36. What do we do about that, Acts 2.37? Well, you just told them to call upon the name of the Lord. Why don't they just do that? Because they didn't know how. So we told them. Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The ones that gladly received his word were baptized. You need to do that. Gladly receive the word, the way of salvation that Jesus offers. Guess what will happen to you? Praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Acts 2.47, that can happen for you. You won't be part of a religious division, that which hurts Christ, John 17, 20 through 23. You won't be divided up into of categories. I'm of Paul. I'm of Apollos. I'm of Protestantism. I'm of Calvin. I'm of Baptist Church. I'm of the Wesleyan, uh, Lutheran. I'm of... Nah. You'll be a Christian. You'll be saved, washed in the blood of Jesus, and you'll be in the Lord's church the one that he promised to build in Matthew 16, 18. We love you. That's the church we're part of. That's what the church we want you to be a part of. This is what's fighting for, what fighting for your soul looks like. Yeah. I love you. Let's go to heaven together.